everybody. Welcome to Tully's on Arsenal Street in Watertown. This is Brews with Barrett, the official podcast of your Watertown Wolves. My name is Jeff Barrett, your host. Glad you could join us here tonight, or hopefully you came down and hang out. Don't forget we're here every Tuesday night, 6 o'clock, so you can come down, hang out with the guys, have some dinner, grab a couple of beers, and uh, just have a little bit of fun on a Tuesday evening. I want to thank our sponsors, NBC Watertown and the Tunes 92.5, of course, along with Tully's, our host here at 1050 Arsenal Street. Our podcasts are now available. They're on YouTube. All you got to do is search at Live Watertown Wolves Hockey. You'll be able to find them there. That's also where we do the broadcast for the games when the Wolves are at home. So I hope you all had a great Christmas. Uh, Hopefully that was an enjoyable time for you. We want to wish you a happy New Year. Let us be the first to do that. And we talk about a couple of games we've got coming up this weekend. It'll roll right in in a hurry. We're back home on the 29th and the 30th. On the 29th, it'll be Danbury. The hat trick's coming in once again to the Watertown Municipal Arena for a battle on Friday evening. Saturday night, the 30th, the Elmira River Sharks will be in town once again. And that's one we got to get back is... Uh, Get some revenge on the River Sharks when they roll into Watertown. That's also going to be our Ugly Sweater Night. you got to see these jerseys. These things are awesome. Ugly Sweater jerseys that will be auctioned off immediately following the game. So you'll definitely want to come down and hang out for that. We want to thank everybody that took part in our toy drive this year. Neat little deal. You bring some toys in, unwrap toys, drop them off at the game. You'll get a discount at the Wolves Den. And the Wolves Den is loaded up with a lot of new merchandise. They've got these beautiful Watertown Privateer sweatshirts. And go back a little reminiscing with those. You can pick one of those up. We've also got the new Watertown Wolves uh, military sweatshirts. They look like the, the tan color that the military wears here at Fort Drum. So that's definitely one you're going to want to get in on. Speaking of that, we have a couple of charity games coming up after the first of the year. We will be playing uh, some fun games, one with the Watertown Fire Department and one with the guys from Fort Drum. So you definitely want to get in on that with us. Tonight joining us here will be Alex Basie, one of the tough guys in the FPHL, along with goaltender... I got to look. I think I got Liskowitz here somewhere. He's way over there. Owen Liskowitz joining us here tonight. So these guys will be up in just a couple of minutes. I said, basically, 159 games played, over 800 penalty minutes. We're going to talk about, he's smiling now. He's got a smile over here. And Owen Liskowitz, a guy that's uh, come in, become one of the, you know, renowned goaltenders in our league the last couple of seasons that everybody's been after. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back to Tully's in just a couple of minutes. In the spirit of judgment freedom, Planet Fitness went to Olympia, Washington to honor all um, what people from that city get called. You know the way people from Boston get called Bostonians? People from Olympia, Washington get called... You know what I'm talking about. We wanted to sponsor those. Everyday those, regular those, all kinds of those. Anyways, our lawyers told us we had to make it extremely clear that we are not endorsing or sponsoring any international sporting event or affiliated athletes. We just believe that to be celebrated, you don't have to be an elite physical specimen who trains their entire life and competes in their chosen sport at the highest level all through their childhood and adolescence and then represents their country on a world stage to compete for one of three different colored accolades. We believe that to be celebrated, you just need to join Planet Fitness. Hey, welcome back to Brews with Barrett here at Tully's on Arsenal Street in Watertown. Joining me right now, a guy that's been around the FPHL for a few years now, Alex Basie, joining us. Alex, uh, 2017, you turned pro, and I think one of the funny stats was you were here for three games. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it didn't Quick take three. long, no, right? No, no. Now, if I'm not wrong, you were actually back here at the beginning of the whole COVID situation, you were going to play in Watertown. Yep, so I played the three preseason games and then everything that went down with COVID, we ended up uh, folding right before the first game. It was supposed to be 17 straight games against Elmira. Yeah, how, yeah how right? Turned out, eh? Yeah, it was kind of a... <laughs> Yeah, it was a screwed up deal that oh, year. Yeah. Yeah, oh, it was, yeah. That was kind of an odd deal. And of course, like I said, we never even got to that point. No. So we had a little brawl in the hallway one day oh, and then yeah. never got any further. <laughs> no. <laughs> you turned pro back in 2017. Of course, Canadian kid out of Oshawa. You played a lot of junior hockey, I'm sure. Yep. Where did that all start? Uh, 
Canada, you learn to skate before you learn to walk. Yeah. So <laughs> all started. Uh, my dad's a big hockey fan, big role model in my life, and uh, that's where it all started. Been skating since I was four years old, and still working on skating to this day, like everyone else. <laughs> so, like you said, 17, you turned pro. You spent a little time here. You end up down in Danville yep. for quite a while, yeah, and then moved to Delaware. And Delaware was your home for the last few seasons. Yeah, yeah. I did uh, two years in Danville, <clears throat> and then I got drafted out of there by uh, Penn Senior and um, ended up in Delaware. I was up in the SPHL for a while, but I was captain in two years in Delaware. I had a great time, uh, great organization, but I'm very happy back here in Watertown. Always felt like home coming back here. <laughs> it's funny, you and I, whenever you did come back to town, we'd always get together and just for a minute, you know, oh, yeah. chat in the hallway or something. But it is, it's no secret. I mean, everybody that's follows my stuff on Facebook, they know, you know, you're one of my favorites in the FPHL. Oh, yeah. You know, we've always had a, a good relationship, so it's pretty cool. Um, funny story, uh, I'm in the gym a week ago, my wife's trying to get me less fat, and then I'm there one night, and I turn around, and I see this guy in a treadmill, I'm going, man, that looks like Alex Basie. <laughs> and, and, there you were. I, t I had to take a double look for how good a shape you're getting in, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we... Uh, we look each other and go, hey, you know, and that was another quick conversation there. But, uh, yeah, it was kind of funny. I go, what the hell are you doing in Watertown? And, yeah. Uh, passing through. I was yeah. going home. Yeah. Of <laughs> course, you had to keep it quiet, I think. But, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, down to Columbus this year, uh, a few games. You hadn't played the whole season down there. You missed a few games. No, I was in Knoxville. Oh, you were first, in Knoxville yeah. to start. Okay. Yeah, I was in Knoxville to start for six games. Ended up down in Columbus. Right after, and uh, it was good. It was nice and warm down there. Yeah, Not like, yeah, yeah, right. But this reminds me of good old Canadian hockey up here, freezing cold, dark by 4 p.m., and yeah, <laughs> nothing like it. So uh, you've got a reputation. You're one of the tough guys in the league. You'll throw with anybody. Oh, yeah. Has there anybody been anybody in the league that you've ever thought, no, I'm not going to go with this guy? <laughs> uh, one guy fought once, uh, Steve McIntyre. I had to fight in Carolina. That was definitely the scariest moment going to him, but you know, I'll never say no. And there was a great story. I can say I got to fight him, so that was awesome. So, like you said, you end up back here in Watertown. How'd that whole move come about? Uh, ended up getting be able to talk. Columbus let me talk to teams, and uh, Watertown's nice and close to home. Family can come watch, and um, it's always been a place I've loved, loved coming to. The fans here are just amazing, and get to see you around, eh? <laughs> to the games, and it's just a great atmosphere around here. One of the best ice rinks in the league for sure. Just skating on that ice is awesome. So it is a fun place to play, oh, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah, great place. The fans are right on top of the you. Fans here. are right on top. Yeah, uh, whether you're like a visitor or, or a home team. Oh yeah, they're right there. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> good to be on the home side again. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I had one person get a hold of me. I had to ask you this question. Matt Torgerson from Minor Pro Hero. Oh yeah. Yeah, he said, "Throw this at you." He said, "Coffee Crisp or Crispy Crunch?" <laughs> <laughs> Coffee Crisp every day, Matt. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> Matt, Matt's a good guy, and he he sent me that. He goes. I love when people say, ask this question. Yeah. And he wanted to throw that at you. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, well, you said six seasons now in the FPHL, and I think one of the most amazing stats, 159 games played, yep. 41 points. So you're not just out there, you're not just a bruiser, you're playing the game, yep. right? Yeah. But over 800 penalty minutes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's not forget <laughs> over 60 games suspended, too. 60 games? <laughs> yeah. yeah I know it. Yeah. That, that was kind of a tough deal, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's been tough sitting out, so I'm just trying to stay in the lineup now, <laughs> work on that. But the 800 penalty minutes, a lot of fighting majors and stuff, yeah. I'm always sticking up for the team, and uh, it's my role. It always will be. No matter how old I get, I'll be there, first one in the pile. Yeah, we had Justin Schmidt on a few weeks ago. And Schmitty. He, Schmitty said the same thing. Oh, yeah. He goes, you know, I'm always going to protect my boys. Yeah. You yeah. know? It's funny being on the same side of him. <laughs> Remember one Saturday, me and him were on the red line. We played against each other Friday, and I think we were just sick of each other's faces. <laughs> we were just hacking away at each other's shin pads on Saturday, and here we are living together. Great dude, yeah. Yeah, and I think the last game, home games we were at, you guys were on the same line for a couple of shifts. That was uh, oh, kind yeah. of interesting. Oh, yeah. Nobody really came near us for no, sure. I, <laughs> I think we're in there the whole time. <laughs> uh, so growing up, when did it become evident that you were going to be one of the I don't want to call you an enforcer, but when you were going to be one of the tough guys. Um, were you a big kid growing yeah, up? Yeah, I was always a big kid. 
Uh, dad's my dad's old school hockey. He's the one who taught me everything, and so he said, "You just be the toughest out there, right?" That's how I made it in this game, and that's how I'll keep doing it. It's the reason I made it is because of him, and you always just have to have that fierceness in you. <laughs> don't let anyone near the net. Absolutely, don't let yeah. anyone pull you around. There you go. Yeah. And I, and I do have to bring this up. Everybody's going to see this watching this video, but you've always got a smile on your face. I watch you on the ice, whether you're in a scrap or you're just out skating, yeah. you got that big smile. Yeah. I think it gets under people's skins a lot. They don't like to smile. <laughs> <laughs> and I just always have fun doing it. Always right. excited, yeah. yeah. Nothing makes me happier than being out there. The guy that loves his job, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, you're getting up there in age a little bit 28 years old so yeah. you're starting to get towards the back side of the career what's next i'm gonna play till everything stops moving there you type go. of thing and then uh, <laughs> hopefully i'll be retired on a lake somewhere right <laughs> yeah right <laughs> so it'd be kind of cool if you could finish out your career here for a couple seasons oh, yeah. right absolutely absolutely nice and close to home and it's a great place to play so I'm, I'm assuming you played a lot of junior hockey before you got into the pro ranks. Five years in the GMHL. Yep. I played uh, all five years. I was over a couple places. I was a captain the last three years. It's okay. um, the GMHL. That's tough, tough sledding oh, right yeah. there. That You learn a lot there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You learn a lot, uh, a lot of the good old school hockey, and it kind of reminds me of the Federal League, the way it's played. It's... Um, you, you can't take it easy one hack and everyone's on you, right? So right. You gotta, you're held accountable. All right. Well, man, I tell you, it's awesome having you back in Watertown again. Oh, yeah. I look forward to that smile every night. <laughs> oh, yeah. You'll be seeing it. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I want to thank you for coming in and hanging out tonight. Yeah. Thanks, Chevy. Okay. Yeah, I got to catch up on my beer to yours. Yeah, I know. Eh? What, you know, we call it Brews with Barrett. You wanted to do a shot before we started. I know Penzi didn't like that idea. But, <laughs> That's because yeah. he wanted to do one. Yeah, too, he right? wants to get in on it, right? We got to get him on the show. Sometime. I know. I and, know. Uh, he won't do it. You should see the Chicken. stories from him. Yeah. <laughs> we don't need to know those. <laughs> but anyway, but thanks Alex Basie for coming in and hanging out with us here tonight. As you said, come on down, say hi to this guy at the arena some night. He's a lot of fun. Big smile you can see right there. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back with Bruce with Barrett from Tully's in just a couple of minutes. My operator said, hey, one of our regular customers had a heart transplant recently. Would you be okay with me introducing you to them? I was like, absolutely, man. That's when I got to meet Brian. We've both had a heart transplant and love Chick-fil-A. Brian represents an older me because of what he's been through. I was so happy to be able to be that person in Shay's life. It's nice knowing someone in the community able to talk to you like that. I'm glad that I'm in this journey, in this story right now with Shay. Makes Longhorn steak so legendary. Some say it's our flavor-packed signature seasonings. Some say it's how we pair them with our juicy, tender steaks. And some just say, mmm. Hurry in tonight for Longhorn's legendary flavors. Our new limited-time blackened salmon with our smoky 18-ounce outlaw ribeye and our rich and savory flows filet. That's how steak is done. Longhorn Steakhouse, you can't fake steak. Hey, welcome back to Brews with Barrett here at Tully's on Arsenal Street in Watertown, the official podcast of your Watertown Wolves. Joining us right now, goaltender Owen Liskowitz. Liskey, thanks for coming in, hanging of out, man. Always. So, uh, last it started back in what, 2016, 2018. You're a kid out of New Jersey, Red yes, Bank, sir. New Jersey, yes, and you end up playing in Canada. Yeah, I've, my junior <laughs> career took me all over the place, all over. Played, uh, played in Toronto um, with the Toronto Junior Patriots, and then I played in Coburg as well. And then I had a little stint in uh, Manitoba in that uh, Junior League. So definitely a fun experience up there. Right. So down in Jersey, growing up, how did you get involved with hockey? Um, ever since I was a young kid, uh, I always wanted to play hockey, and I always wanted to be a goalie. Um, my parents always say my dad, when I was a baby, would uh, watch hockey with me, uh, just sitting there. So maybe that's where it's from, but uh, who knows? <laughs> You know, that was one of the questions I was going to ask. Why goalie? You you wanted to do that right from the start? I, right from the get-go, I always wanted to be a goalie. I don't know if it was uh, the equipment or growing up. I Obviously, from being from New Jersey, grew up watching Brodeur. <laughs> so, uh, you know, a tough act to follow there. But <laughs> Good role model Yeah, there. exactly. Great goalie. And, uh, yeah, ever since I was little. So that's where that decision, Just you just started out and said, going to play goalie. Um, yeah, I always wanted to play goalie. I... Uh, Started doing, doing obviously learned to skate, uh, started as a player in ice hockey, and then um, played roller hockey goalie first. A little cheaper, a little 
um, yeah. easier to get into, right? And then I, I loved it from there. So my parents, uh, I think one year I got pads for Christmas and the rest is history, as they say. <laughs> now, unlike up in, in Canada, we don't have, juniors is a lot different down here. A lot of guys come out of the high school ranks. You play high school hockey as well? Yeah, so I played, um, I played three years of high school hockey. Um, I actually wasn't super familiar with um, junior hockey at all, but then my, uh, my goalie coach at the time, you know, said it was an option and we looked into it. And then uh, my senior year, I started playing juniors. And then, uh, so you spent a couple of seasons just down the road in Morrisville. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Played college Morrisville. hockey. Yeah. So I've been in upstate New York for a long time. Yeah, right? Yeah. That's a great area down there. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm a huge fan of upstate New York. My, uh, my family's got a little cottage up here that we had our reunion at every year. And, you know, it's a beautiful area. So so coming to Watertown, made a, it was a good choice for you then. Yeah. I'm, I'm used to it. I don't <laughs> mind the cold, you know. Now, you spent, uh, you said you spent some time in Binghamton before coming to Water. That's where you started was down there in the FPHL, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How many games down there? Um, so I played, I'm not exactly sure, probably on the number, but I was there for um, probably a year in total-ish, probably like 40, 50 games, and right. then uh, traded here last December. So. How'd that trade come about? Was that just something that ended up on your desk or? Uh, yeah, so <laughs> I didn't have the greatest start last year in Binghamton and uh, you know, I think the change of scenery uh, kind of helped me out and find my groove a bit last year and uh, it worked out pretty nicely. Yeah, you got, uh, came into the lineup last year, you got a lot of starts in Watertown mm -hmm. when you got here. Had a pretty successful year. We had, we had a kind of a tough season yeah, last year. Yeah. But, um, so then this year, you were missing in action the first part of the season. You missed about a month uh, coming off an injury. Yes, sir. Um, unfortunately, I was walking into a rink during the summer for a little summer skate and uh, missed the last step uh, of some stairs <laughs> and, you know, uh, banged up my ankle a little bit. But uh, it's feeling pretty good now, and we're uh, happy to get up here and get going. You said that wasn't a good story when we were talking earlier. No, it's, uh, it's not something you want I, to brag about. Yeah, I, I should make something up. <laughs> you know, uh, one of the things we talked about with – goalies you guys are a different breed altogether. I mean stand there and let people chuck pucks at you all the time but most teams in the FPHL especially don't have specific goalie coaches or goalie training so how do you how do you get to a practice what do you do to keep sharp yeah so um you know over the years you just learn obviously how to play goalie and I think um most goalies could probably attest to it like if you let in a goal you know, uh, you know immediately what you did wrong, right? So there's um, there's some things you want to work on in practice and have your mind focused on, and just try to stay dialed in. And I have a I have a goalie coach back home who uh, who watches a lot of my games and stuff, so I can always bounce ideas off him. And uh, yeah, it's it's definitely um, a position that probably you have to take a little more uh, action in your own right than just being a player where you have coaches always bearing down on you. Right. So. What's the relationship like? I mean, we got three goalies on the roster right now. You guys, you know, I mean, you all want to get the start. You all want to get the play, but you guys got to help each other out as well. Yeah, so um, I always like to think of it as, a, you know, healthy competition. One guy plays better. The other two want to play even better than him. Um, but at the same time, if you're in that backup role for the night, obviously just be there, support your teammate. And uh, if they want to talk during the TV timeouts, talk. If they don't want to talk, just be there and hand them the water, you know? Absolutely. Now, we don't want to get Beaker all upset us, but Coach has a short hook this year yeah. on goaltenders. Yeah. <laughs> definitely uh, definitely um, something you just got to work with as a goalie, right? Yeah, you got to learn. So, that's yeah. digging at the back of the head all the time. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> just got to go out there and stop some pucks. There you go. So what's your game day routine? Like, I know goaltenders have – superstitions or meals that they do yeah um i'd say as most goalies go i'm pretty laid back about it but i do uh you know we have our morning skate i go eat lunch usually uh chipotle that way i don't have to cook that much <laughs> right keep it nice and simple uh go take a nap and then i uh, get a coffee on my way to the rink and goes from there i once i'm at the rink i try to do everything the same every day and uh really gets you uh, dialed in and hopefully uh keep that consistency through a long season right so it doesn't change whether you know you're getting the start or not you still warm up the same yeah every every game day uh even if you're not starting i like to warm up as if i am starting because you, you never know uh what's going to happen out there all right so that was one of the questions i said you know i wonder because i watch you guys i'll see you in the hallway a lot you're juggling or yeah. bouncing the balls <laughs> off the wall yeah taking up the whole hallway <laughs> <laughs> yeah definitely uh definitely a lot of people walking by i try to be pretty courteous but 
<laughs> so, uh, Red Bank, New Jersey. Let's get back to that a little bit. Were you growing up raised there, right? Yes, sir. But you said you have a cottage up here. So, how much different is it growing? I mean, that's you're just almost a suburb of New York City down there. Yeah. So we're um, we're 45 minutes away from the city without traffic. Um, both my parents work in the city, actually. My uh, my brother-in-law used to work in the city too. Uh, my uncle works in the city, <laughs> so it's definitely a definitely a little bit different than up here, where it's right. a little more rural. So. so so you Jersey Shore guy? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> being a being a fair complexion, I don't get to the beach that much. You know, I'll, I'll get sunburned in about 20 minutes. But I, I do enjoy the ocean. Do enjoy the beach. Um, beautiful area down there. Very privileged to have grown up in it. There's always something to do, and right. usually the weather's pretty good. So Penzi was picking on you about that too. <laughs> oh yeah. The yeah. Jersey Shore thing, right? So yeah. what was that little saying you had before we started? Oh yeah. Uh, we don't pump our gas. We pump our fists. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. So it's been great having you in this year. I mean, the fans seem to really enjoy you. When they hear your name, they get excited. Yeah, I'm very grateful. The fans are fantastic. They always come out and support no matter what. And it's definitely fun uh, being in a, maybe a little bit of a smaller area, smaller market. Uh, the fans definitely get to know you, and you get to know them, and it's always always a great experience. Yeah, you're always one of the guys hanging out late, getting your signing the autographs, talking I, I to try, everybody. I try my best, you know. It doesn't hurt to have people like you, right? No, absolutely. <laughs> like you said, especially in the small market. Exactly. We exactly. need everybody we can get. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, thanks for coming in and hanging well, of out. Of course. Always a pleasure, Jeff. Always right. a pleasure. Thanks, man. Owen Leskowitz coming in and hanging out with us tonight on Brews with Barrett at Tully's on Arsenal Street in Watertown. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Some things never go out of style, but doing all your banking in person? Not even. Let's get digital with Northern Credit Union. It's like totally rad. Let's get digital. Apply for a new car loan and online and mobile banking and get that sweet new DeLorean with a gnarly sound system. Wanna get digital. Or get digital with Northern Credit Union by applying for a mortgage right from your phone. Let's get digital. Don't get stuck in the past. Get digital with Northern Credit Union. This isn't just a place, it's a trove of memories. It's not just a structure held together by nails and screws. It's a sanctuary for family and friends. A place to celebrate, commemorate, and nurture. At Northern Credit Union, we believe that a house is a home, and your new home is just waiting for you to fill it with memories. Apply for a loan today with Northern Credit Union, because your why is our why. Hey, welcome back to Brews with Barrett at Tully's on Arsenal Street in Watertown, the official podcast of your Watertown Wolves. My name is Jeff Barrett. We've had a great night here. We invite you down. Hang out with us on a Tuesday night. Here we get started around 6 o'clock. So we're, you know, somewhere in that neighborhood anyway. Got a lot of the players sitting here tonight at the table. They have a little bit of dinner, a couple of drinks. We invite you to come down, hang out with the guys. Last week we got a big uh, table hockey game going after that. So, you know, you might want to jump in on that as well. I want to thank our guest tonight, Alex Basie, one of the tough guys in the FPHL, defender in Watertown, a veteran of the league. He's been around for quite a while now. Always got a big smile on his face. It was good to talk with Alex tonight. And Owen Leskowitz, one of the guys you find between the pipes at a home game, or any game, I should say, for the Watertown Wolves, one of our goaltenders, came to us last year from Binghamton. He's done a phenomenal job in goal for your Watertown Wolves. Don't forget our next home games, the 29th and 30th. The 29th, Dan Berry is going to be in the house once again. And on the 30th, it will be the Elmira River Sharks. On the 30th, we're going to have an off-the-back jersey raffle right after the game, or auction, I should say. The guys are going to be wearing their ugly sweater jerseys, and you'll have an opportunity to bid on those immediately following the game on the 30th. We've been running our toy drive this year. You get a discount. You bring in an unwrapped toy, drop it off, and you get a discount at the Wolves. Den if you want to buy a new sweatshirt, hat, t-shirt, hoodie, whatever the case may be, or a jersey or even a custom jersey, you'll get a discount if you bring in an unwrapped toy for our toy drive. Thank you very much to the people that have come down and already donated to our toy drive. It's been absolutely phenomenal. And that's uh, going to wind up also on the 30th, so you'll definitely want to get down for that as well. Our podcasts are now uploaded. These are all up there now. You can start finding them. All you have to do is go to at Live Watertown Wolves Hockey on YouTube. 
You can search them right there. That's also where you find your home games when the Wolves are at home. That's where we do our broadcast. Myself, Steve Weed from Steve Weed Productions and Connor Alone bring you every home game, and you can find us right there. We have a couple of charity games coming up after the first of the year. We'll be playing the Watertown Fire Department one evening at the Watertown Municipal Arena. And another great one we've got lined up will be a game with the guys from Fort Drum. So you'll definitely want to get in and watch that. During the week, don't forget, check out the Wolves Facebook page as well as our webpage, which is watertownwolves.net. Find out what's going on there, all our specials and everything there. I want to thank our sponsors, NBC Watertown, along with Tunes 92.5, and of course our beautiful hosts here at Tully's on Arsenal Street. My name is Jeff Barrett. This has been Brews with Barrett. Thank you very much. Time for the